So you've covered the roof completely in uh, fiberglass. You ready for the big push? Wow. That didn't take you long and you had enough fiberglass to do the whole thing. Yes, you done. Well done, how long did that take you? It didn't take you long. Not half an hour. I'm amazed you had enough. Oh, so am I. To cover the whole room. It's literally just enough, I measured it well. Do you need me to stay while you're rolling the fiberglass? It'd be nice if you did, just in case, because I stick to myself and okay. I might have a crisis. I don't think so, I think it'll be alright, but you never know. It'd be nice if you could stay for a bit. It won't take me long. I'll stay as long as you need me to be <sighs> That's a big roof up there. It is, it it's is. It's a lot bigger than you think. On the, and I've still got to fix this roof. Oh well. Because uh, someone mixed up some fiberglass resin and what I was saying about one resin doesn't like another resin, there was a bit of a reaction, wasn't there, Graham? And a perpetual bubble, which then created a hole in the fiberglass, which has perpetually leaked. So I've got to grind all that out and fix the leak. That's for another day, sweetheart. Yeah, not today, Maverick. <laughs> Oh, you will have enough resin then. Do you reckon? Yeah. Oh, on, on my second tub. Oh, are you? Oh, yeah, I used one yesterday. Oh, yeah, but you've got another tub to go. Yeah. Oh, you'll have loads. How's it going, Fiona? Yeah, I've run out of resin. You've run out of resin? Yeah, my watch is covered in it as well. Oh, no. I did say. Um, yeah, tomorrow I'll, I'll get a bit more weave because I'm, I'm if you, almost... If you, if you pull the spout up on the cans, you can get more resin out, you know that, don't you? There's no resin in the cans. They are empty. Okay. They're completely empty. Okay. Um, uh, I'll bring a... I've got to get new rollers tomorrow and more weave. Three more buckets of resin, I reckon. So I can get a nice finish. Yeah. And um, I've, I've got loads of bubbles and wrinkles to cut out because it dried on me while I was in a, it's okay. such a large area. Have you got the other little little roller? The laminated. It's on the roof. It's useless that. Absolutely useless. Oh, I see. No, that's okay. Don't worry about that. I reckon I can cut them out. Yeah, don't worry about that. That's uh, it'll be dealt with, darling. Yep. Just explain what that is. That's a Mont Blanc pen. It's, that's a solid gold pen with a solid gold nib. What they say is if you're going to write out a £100,000 cheque, you don't do it with a big pen, do you? <laughs> and this, is, this was how much? That's a th just under £1,000, that one. £1,000 for yeah. a pen? Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's so many different pens. There, there's there's the, the fountain pen version of it there, look. But um, you can go on forever. But that's a nice one. Look, thirty-four thousand pound. Thirty-four grand for a pen. Yeah. Look. You joking? Yeah. That's Pirelli. What they call the Pirelli pen. Can't oh. believe anyone would pay that much money for a pen. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay. That's ridiculous. And um, they don't just do, but they do watches. They started off making watches. Mont Blanc. Yeah, yeah. They started off in the watch game. What kind of pen do you reckon the king had, and it wouldn't work? I, thought, I would have thought the king would write with a fountain pen, wouldn't you? Would it be a Mont Blanc fountain pen? I'd have thought so. I'd have thought so. <laughs> This, this, this is where they started off in watches, look, that they, what, they paid two, three grand, three grand for that, and I, I think the watches look pretty crap, you know, we, 
They don't look like anything special. I've no. got a Timex, looks like yeah, that. I don't think they look anything. Not like not like a Breitling, is it? Do you, do you know what I mean? But you know me, I like my watches, I like my pens. Yeah. Never yeah. knew that. Hey. Learn, so, learn something every day. The thing is, because it's such a large area, where it was, I was working mm. my way around, it dried. Well, you normally do pop them and then roll them, is what you do. No, no, they're hard. Yeah, they're gone they've hard. They've gone hard by the time I got back well, to it. It won't do any harm. So it won't do any harm. No, I know, but they're lumps. But I, I can cut them out. There's not too many of them, but I want it, mm. you know, really nice. Mm. What are you going to so sit up there? I'll have to go and get then? another two cans. Do you need two more cans to finish the roof? Yeah, because I've got to finish the last square metre. And then when it's I've, I've got all the bubbles out, I'll do one final coat, you know, so, to hide the weave a bit more. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then it will be painted. That's, 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 once you paint it, it'll look different. I mean, I could put a, a pigment in the resin. Mm. I don't know if they sell that around here. Just get some white pigments. Or I used to mix white paint with it. I think you can put paint in with resin, actually, can't you? Well, they, you, you, you normally get an additive. To put in yeah, it, yeah, like, it's special like, pigment in it. And you, you don't use it, don't take a lot of it, but mm. over here they tend to pe use normal white on everything and then paint it the way you want it here. In the UK, they, they, the fiberglass is tinted. Yeah. In the UK, here they don't tint it, they paint it. I suppose it. they shut for siesta. See that, Fiona? That's a th Fiona. That's a £1,000 pen. It's Mont Blanc, innit? Tell them what a Mont Blanc is. Well, you're fucking mad, quite yeah. frankly. A £1,000. What do you need a £1,000 pound right. biro right. for? Signing the big deals. You don't sign a £100,000 <laughs> cheque with a £10 bit, 10p bit. Of course you can. Nah, I get well, if, if, you're if, you're sat a a snob. if you're sat at a desk, or, I've got better pens than that. <laughs> it's two and a half grand, some of them cost. But they go up in value, like watches. Do they? Yeah. yeah. They don't lose money. So you're not tempted to buy a thousand pound pen? No, I'm not. It's not even gold. <laughs> you spend a lot more than that on a fountain. Look at the king. I mean, his fountain pen didn't even work. And how much did he pen? I just want to go home. Pay for that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get gone. But you're knackered, aren't you? Yeah, I am actually. Time to go home, darling. What are we going to eat tonight? I don't know, I was thinking of going out. I, uh, I should go to the supermarket really and get something. I've, Treat got, you. I've got a roast thing that I can cook. That's in the fridge. It's one of those stuffed complete piece of meat things. I'll I think wander it's... up to Anna's shop at times it will be open soon. What for? Do we need some chips or something to go with it? Well, I just said I'll do a roast. So they normally come with roast potatoes. Oh, I see. You're right. Okay. And Anna's chips have to be deep fried, and I don't do frying. That's all. Right. So okay. that would be a waste of money, wouldn't it? What's this guy doing, wobbling along? I don't know. I was wondering what that three-year-old is doing, staggering around. Is his Gavana coat? Restaurant or me, fiberglass. No, it's not you. Did they serve food a bunch? Yeah. I'll just be glad when it's done, finished. Well, it won't be long now. We'll go to the shops in the morning and get yeah. a couple more tins of resin. Three more tins, I reckon I'll do it perfect. Three. And a tiny bit of mat because um, I'll cut some holes out where there are bubbles and then I'll remap those patches. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. So it's dead smooth. It'll be nice when it's done. I'm looking forward to drinking cocktails up there. Yes, everyone said that they're looking forward to seeing that. I'll sunbathe up there. They can do all kinds up there, plus it'll be a new new place to hang out. So you've never really been up there, have we? The ladder changed everything. That it telescopic did. ladder is fantastic. Every boat should have one. Amazon's brilliant. Best 65 euros I ever spent. 
I'm just glad I turned up today and it hadn't all curled up, you know, on the sides like a skirt. Yeah, you said that, yeah. I'm so relieved about that. I and got then, a big drip in the back of my hair. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. And, uh, but I was filming. So I'll have a bald patch. No, you won't. I've got really curly hair at the moment. Oh, trust me, I'm not worried about a bald patch. Like Larry the Lamb. It's the least of my worries.